what's good guys so in this video we're going to be going over um the first stage of development which i think is the most important stage of development because it can really save you months and months of time and it can make it so that your development process is very smooth um and it can you know keep you from uh like there's just so much that it, it can do for example i had a solo project i was working on recently and there was probably a good week to two weeks that i could have saved in an amount of time if i had followed through with a proper mock-up like a stage two stage three mock-up i only did like stage one and i'll explain the stages i call them stages um for me like when i'm working but uh, i'll explain them in a second um but like for example i didn't do stage two and stage three and i probably could have saved like two weeks of debugging that i was doing working on a certain mechanics so if i'd actually thought out the mechanics before just hard, kind of hard coding it um i could have saved a ton of time um and so that's why one reason why mock-ups are so important um another reason would be there's another project actually i was working on a game that i really I was taking seriously and I uh, made I made um, it worked on PC but it didn't work on mobile and I wanted it to be a mobile game but I didn't think about how people were gonna gonna actually play it on mobile and so I ended up just stopping the project because it just was not like the way I wanted the game to work it was only gonna work on PC it would not have been available on mobile um, and I didn't really want to, you know, completely shift how the game was operating. Um, I wasn't really, like, all that passionate about the project, so I just kind of went on to another project. But So those are just a couple examples of why mock-ups are important in development and why you want to, uh, you know, write mock-ups in, in development. Um, so, yeah, let's kind of go over it real quick, though. So I'm in this game and this game is uh let me see if i'm okay so i'm in this game and this game is a tycoon game it's a dog tycoon and uh we're going to just write a mock-up on this dog tycoon so the first thing's first is dog tycoon sim I mean, it's really like a sim tycoon mix, I feel like, but I really have no idea. So the first thing that happens, player joins game and um, player gets ownership of their uh, tycoon next to other players. All right, and then also something that you're not going to be able to see here in this video, because I already tested before I made this video, um, is that we got an arrow. So player gets an arrow showing them exactly what to do and how to play. I think this is one of the most important things when, um, when the player is when when a player is joining a game in this platform this is probably the what can make or break a ton of games uh because if if i don't know what to do and there's so much happening i'm gonna quickly hop off and so are a lot of other people but if we're given an objective we're given something to do and it's right in front of our face and there's no way in hell that we cannot see it then we're gonna do whatever it is it wants us to do we're on a new experience so it's something that's new for us and you know so that is i think important um just wanted to kind of cover that real quick uh another thing let's go over the core mechanics real quick so core mechanics um let's play it real quick i'll show you so this there, there there is a free dog that you get like every so often in the game and then you also have this auto play option 
Then you also have all of these other buttons where you can buy stuff with Robux, these like Game Pass or Dev products or whatever the whatever you want to call them. So you can also buy all those. Those are extra. So I wouldn't write those into this mock-up because that's not really a part of the core mechanics of the game. That's just extra stuff in the game. The core mechanics of, of the game is how this works and how I can pick up all of these bubbles for points and um, I can then uh, deposit these bubbles and I can also uh, increase uh, my how many dollars I get per second. I can also buy a puppy. And so those are, I feel like, are, are core mechanics. So the first thing we're going to have is, first of all, we have this like, these like, these objects on a rack. Okay, we'll call them objects. So, um, player gets objects, point objects. I don't know what to call them, point controller objects player gets uh, we'll just say objects pet objects i really have no idea what to call them i try to so for my mock-ups i try to have a general term for something so that if i change course or change what something is literally in development i don't have to change it in all of my scripts and all of my mock-ups and stuff i can just i know what it is right so for this we'll just have pet objects i guess Player, ha player gets pet objects. Um, player gets storage points. Storage. Um, player can deposit deposit points. Player can deposit points. Empty storage. Um, and then I'll have like another line here because this is related to so the double dash is This is going to be related to the line above So what I'll do is like um, I'll have um, points um, When player deposit points Are rewarded they are player is rewarded with currency so let's see player is rewarded with currency when player deposits points player is rewarded with currency um player can buy pet objects there's also this merge here so we also have this merge and we can merge our uh, pet objects that we get so that is also something that I would write in the mock-up. I think that's important. So player can buy pet objects. Player can merge pet objects. And then this right here, I'm going to have an arrow. Okay. Um, and so like the dashes are... I do this in like levels so obviously this is like the first level it doesn't have a dash and so this dash lets me know like this line is related to the line above like just like this double dash since this already has a dash this double dash is letting me know that this line is related to the line above the arrow i signify as a bit of actual logic that's going on in the game so um i would do like a player or wait, player can merge pet objects. So two pet objects merge into one pet objects, increasing the level of the merged pet object, something like that, right? So whatever really makes sense to you and it's gonna make sense when you're reading back at it and you're gonna start diving into pseudocode, which is stage three or uh, whatever. So this is kind of like stage two and one put together just a little bit tiny tiny bit um not too much but yeah this is like kind of a stage two thing it's just like if i see something and i'm on stage one and i see something that i'm thinking of that would be good to put down right now then i'll just put it in the stage stage one because this is really what stage two is is i'm coming back to this and i'm 
going deeper into every section of it. Um, and so, yeah, and then what's another one? So a player can merge pets. Um, player can buy, uh, buy money, buy currency multiplier per interval and the interval for money earned is one second so just a little note i like to throw in there just because like it lets me know okay well what's the interval if it's if it's important sometimes the intervals are important sometimes they're really not but um in this case i thought like you know i'll put i'll let myself know like hey this is how many seconds this is for and so this is really what the mock-up can look like um but yeah i mean and that's pretty much it like i won't go too far into it i mean that's pretty much it and then obviously like i go into pseudocode so this free puppy right here and then this autoplay these are i feel like extra these are not core mechanic things these are things that you can add and so i would put those in after my whole like first version of the actual mock-up this is done and i got the whole core game loop figured out and i got it in writing and i can go through and i can look at it and it makes sense and that's what i would do before moving on to like extra stuff and then extra stuff would be its own freaking mock-up and i would i would you know make sure that it made sense it would be with the mock-up it would just be down below like i'd have like extra and then game pass or whatever like that you know what i mean um like buy points game pass whatever so yeah i mean that's pretty much it i feel like um you know i feel like i feel like uh yeah that was a decent explanation but um see you guys on the next one peace